the beauty of ayahuasca is is that it does work on all these different layers, all these different levels. And then there's the the purging is is a very important part of it, la purga they call it in the Amazon. But then there's this other thing which is an entrance into the world of ayahuasca, the world of spirit, the world of beauty, the world of having a heart that opens up to the love of the Creator. And to me that's almost like a resetting the direction on a person's life. Whereas prior to ayahuasca a person might be very materialistic or very focused on certain elements in their life that are looping around in a dead-end circle, a closed circle, after some experience with ayahuasca people start to experience that their hearts are open, they're more benevolent towards other, there's more charity, there's more recognition of our beautiful place in, in this world and the beautiful divinity of a heart connecting to, to pure love energy. Many people do this medicine who come from different religious backgrounds. I've seen rabbis do it, I've seen priests do it, I've seen Zen monks do it, I've seen atheists do it, I've seen you know Christians do it, I've seen many, many, many different types of people working with this medicine. And each one, when they go into this open state, open-hearted state, open state of having the senses cleared, tells me that they're more connected to divinity. They're more connected to spirit. And that in itself is healing. That in itself is a profound level of curing the existential angst of life. What is it to move forward in life knowing that it's okay? Knowing that you're where you're supposed to be. Knowing that you're doing what Spirit wants you to do. What the Creator wants you to do. What is that? It's a new life. And that by itself removes so many causes of stress, so many causative factors of illness, just in that alone. So that's ayahuasca, and that's, you know, briefly how I think it works. Um, many times, oh, the other, the other aspect to it, which is important, is forgiveness. And many times people, without knowing that they're doing so, carry emotional wounds, anger, jealousy, fear, um, resentment, all of the negative emotions from when they were a child, or when they were a young adult, or when they were even last week. But people carrying these things, again, creates that tightness inside that impedes the flow of life in the body. So when often in ceremony a person is given the image of these so-called disasters, I call them learning experiences in their life that they haven't yet let go of. And in a very beautiful, gentle way they're given the opportunity to forgive, to release, to let go, to let the past become nothing but the past, and not to be carrying the past into the present anymore. So that's another one of the magics of ayahuasca.